Good morning, welcome to Gorringes. It's Friday morning and uh, we're on view for our Monday sale for the 18th of, uh, of June this month, funnily enough. And um, we've got a nice sale for you again. So, starting here in Gallery 1, Sally's flowers are still uh, holding on. Uh, we've got a collection of oak furniture, all coming from one property. This has been in the same cottage, uh, local to Lewis, here in Sussex, uh, for the past 130 years. So, um, that's unusual for things to have been quite that long. Uh, the big bowl didn't come from the same place, but um, I call this rather lovely old receipt from the antiquary in uh, Oxford. It's, um, it's very large, it says, and um, it's Staffordshire circa 1800, so there we go. Um, that's lot 272 and at two to 300 pounds. So, running through, this one's going to get a bit of interest. This is um, Chinese transitional style, we think. It's, um, it's old enough to have been broken into pieces and stuck back together again, but, uh, but our man Dan's had a good look at it and uh, yeah, it's, it's probably getting on for a hundred years old rather than the sort of three, four hundred it should be, but uh, I suspect that will be popular nevertheless. So, going through into the main room, bit of noise, furniture coming in for the following week's sale as ever. We have some curious items here, what's this, I haven't seen this, this sort of rustic bench, it's been described as teak. I don't know if that's tink, it's hollowed out something or other. 862 there, or a more normal, perhaps, bench, Colbrookdale ends. 820 there, in at 500 pounds. What else have we got? This has come, this job, this comes from a gentleman who was a cabinet maker and made a whole host of furniture um, that sadly is not so fashionable today, but was in its time. So he also made this one which rather pretty, beautiful work, but obviously not particularly in fashion and somewhat sun bleached, so we have an estimate of 80 to 120 on that. And surely, come along, surely worth that. We've got a linen press there, sometimes called a book press, but that one is a linen press, that's to, to press your linen. Nice Chinese table. Going through. Same man that made the walnut bookcase, made the eagle here. Look, that's around on the stand, there we go. Bit of fun, nice quality French secretaire baton, unusually new wood. Another one of our worn up furniture makers' pieces. That's not a bad pillar chest. So that's six to eight hundred. Oh, it's a secretaire as well. There we go. Lot eight six one, the big oil, sort of mid Victorian, four five one in at three hundred pounds. What else have we got? That's a nice apothecary chest, but it's lost its original fittings. That's 361. Another one of our walnut man. There we are, the miniature chest, probably more popular than a full size one. 788, 150 to 200. Good mirror on the wall. <coughs> so let's go through it and see what else we've got. Hey, Jackie. So into the smalls. Chest is on the wine and all ready. Right. Every one of those days. We're all out tonight. Start pouting, so keep clear of Brighton, are you? So running down the smalls. Usual mixture, some wines. A few lots of these paintings of steeplechase winners. That one is Platonic, one at Sandown Park in 1913. I know this because we've got the plaques that go with it. So where else you, you want? It's a fairly successful horse, that. And then basic models of horse, always popular there. Got 304 there. A few books, British butterflies and the like. Then what else have we got? Well, behind the smalls, the whole mixture as ever. We've still got some Japanese ivory there. Good selection of wristwatches and jewellery. Right. So I'm only camera right. operation no, going okay. right now. Just going it's around okay. the back here to have a look at this. It's caught my eye. Lot 299, Art Deco figure. And of course that one is made from ivory, which is um, endangered as we say. Or is it ivory? I think. No, it's not. That's nasty. That's a, that's a resin copy of, a, of an ivory one. So that's in at 400, which looks a bit punchy to my eye. No, I think that is. Oh, maybe we've got some ivory. Yeah, well, it is ivory, so it's an endangered species. It's, it's not going to be able to be sold probably by the end of this year, if not sooner. And it's in at four to 600, 299. So what would have once been highly desirable, it's now hard to... Uh, Hard to say. And a similar thing here, this Belgian Congo Tusk, over 100 years old. Rather fun. There's the hammerhead shark fisherman down there. 
and then further up we've got figures in European costume and the like. And that's an elephant, you can blow it like so to blow the horn. That's lot 78 in at 400. As part of our collection, it's showing that way summer, of Ooh. Ethnographica. Whole host here, we've got about 100 lots. Complete mixture, mostly African. Whole run of these Benny bronzes. We've got some Fijian clubs. Uh, good mixture there, so um, it's all, on, all online, all on the website, and um, we're ready to answer any questions you have about it. There's a fun clock, the Spelter one, Arab on the camera, it's unusual. All for those vintage retro people, good French table football game there. 781, in at 400. Look at that, that's proper, that's probably sort of village blacksmith or carpenter made, I would imagine. So, elsewhere, oh, those are fun, the turtle masks up on the wall there, those are interesting, well, decorative, as are these, they're very sculptural, aren't they? Lot 50, the shields in at 400 pounds. So, into the back, put the lights on, and what do we have out here? It's very thin out here today. How about the stone bench, though? 753 in at 80 to 120 pounds. It's quite nice. Do you like that, Summer? Mm. No? Mm. Mm. Huge painting there. Mm. This is a copy, an old copy, after Bonner of uh, Return from the Horse Fair. So a good bit of wall filler there. 431 in at 8 to 1200 pounds. Mm. More garden benches. That's not a bad one again. 759. It's in at two to three hundred. It's going to sail that, I'm sure. But uh, we'll see. These things are here to be bought, after all. The barrel cook prints, a mixture. Come round. We've got more garden benches. That one needs a bit of work. Get down to B&Q, get some timber, get those back up and running. A little bit more ethno sneaking in here by the looks of things. And otherwise, I think we're coming to the end. Not a bad trunk, not Louis Vuitton. A bit of fun, like the little anchor motif, which is nice and easy. And going around to, oh, and another bench. Gosh, the bench is everywhere. So it's the same model, it's the reproduction. The trunks are in at 70 pounds, can't be bad. And uh, there we go, something to your garden gnome to sit on, although it's described as a chopping block, 20 to 40 pounds. So it's all here again, as usual. On view today until five o'clock. On view, the staff will be keen to get out because they were going to brighten on the, on the source. And then tomorrow, Saturday till one o'clock. Monday, we start the sale at 10. Look forward to seeing you there.